السلام عليكم ويلكم اول اي ام محمد القحطاني فروم جنرال دايركت تريد انفكشن بريفنشن اند كنترول توداي ان شاء الله اي ويل بريزنت تو يو ذا دومين بي فروم ذا انفكشن بريفنشن اند كنترول كي ميجر سبيسيفيكلي اليمنت نمبر 7 ويتش از ريليتد تو ذا امبلوي هيلث بروجرام ويز 14 سب اليمنت اندر ذس دومين Uh, as we say, this element number B7 related to the employee health program. We have under this element 14 sub-element. Uh, we will go through different activity during the auditing round. Uh, we will go through the documentation, uh, through the staff interview, and through the observation. We will see also the medical record in some sub-element -sub and uh, the personal file of the employee. Uh, the first sub-element, number B7.1, there is written policy and procedures for employees' health-related issue, for example, pre-employment counseling and screening, immunization, post-exposure management, and work restriction. We will review uh, and assess this sub-element through document review only. We will ask for this specific policy uh, related to the employee health-related issue and review it uh, to see uh, if it is comprehensive. Comprehensive means it covers all aspects related to the uh, employee health program. To show if the policy address the pre-employment uh, counseling, baseline screening for all healthcare workers, and if it uh, explains uh, how to determine the uh, immune status of the healthcare worker, uh, administrating the appropriate vaccine for them, and if there is uh, incidents happen to the healthcare worker, how to report it, uh, how to uh, follow up this incidents. Also, uh, it should address all the uh, education and training program related to the uh, healthcare worker, uh, including the uh, basic infection control lessons and N95 fit testing. And like uh, other policy and procedure of infection prevention and control, uh, it should be uh, fully applicable according to the uh, hospital scope of service based on scientific references approved from the Ministry of Health and signed from the authorized person uh, according to the uh, hospital policy. Uh, finally, uh, it should be approved by uh, the Infection Control Committee. Uh, now we will shift to sub-element uh, number B7.2. Let's say uh, there is a special clinic for employees' health that provides the pre-employment counseling and screening, immunization, post-exposure management, and work restriction. We have two activity for uh, auditing this uh, sub-element. We have uh, auditing uh, through observation and through uh, staff interview. So you will go uh, during the auditing round and observe if there is a dedicated clinic that cover all the activity of uh, employee health program, which include, as we mentioned before, the pre-employment counseling, baseline screening, uh, how to determine the immune status and the vaccination of the uh, appropriate uh, vaccination for the healthcare worker, uh, reporting and follow-up uh, and management of uh, needle stick or sharp injury and blood and body fluid exposure to any uh, transmissible disease. Uh, how to report and follow up uh, the, if there is exposure to transmissible disease like uh, open pulmonary TB, uh, MERS cuff, uh, or chicken box, or any trans other transmissible disease. To see uh, also the activity of work restriction, the employee health related education and training program that uh, that done by the, the employee health clinic and uh, to see also uh, the basic infection control lessons and N95 fit testing. Uh, and very uh, important to know uh, if the clinic has a definite uh, time for work and there is assigned staff either part-time or uh, full-time. You will make also to uh, audit this sub-element to make a staff interview with the assigned staff in the employee health clinic you will ask about the activity that provide through the clinic. 
for example, you will ask him if uh, you have a newly hired staff in your facility. How do you uh, determine the annual status of, the, of this staff? Uh, you will ask also uh, what if one physician in your facility have unprotected exposure to uh, a case of mers cup infection. How do you uh, report uh, this incident and how do you uh, follow up uh, this staff and how you uh, manage it? Uh, another question that you can uh, ask the assigned staff, how do you manage a healthcare worker who has been exposed to a case of chicken box? Uh, you can ask also, uh, what are you going to do after being informed that a laundry employee has been exposed to a needle stick uh, injury today? Uh, from all this uh, question, you can assess if the uh, staff familiar with the uh, policy and procedure related to the employee health uh, clinic and uh, updated uh, guideline uh, from the Ministry of Health related to the employee health clinic. Uh, this is also an uh, additional question that you can uh, ask the assigned staff to complete the assessment process. Uh, how do you report and manage and follow up a nurse who has been exposed to uh, a patient? What are the components of Bexel uh, license? How do you calculate the coverage rate? How do you send report uh, through Ebenet or Hessen or approved reporting system if applicable? How can you apply work restriction in your facility? If a nurse uh, or uh, any other staff who has been exposed to a case of measles. Now we will shift to sub element number B7.3, which say all employees have a baseline screening for hepatitis B, hepatitis C, HIV, and tuberculosis. We will go through uh, activity of document review and the uh, medical record uh, of the healthcare worker. Uh, it is a simple sub-element uh, as the uh, policy for employee health clinic you have been uh, reviewed before in sub-element number B7.1. So you will ask uh, uh, for a random sample of medical record of the healthcare worker to see if uh, a baseline screening done for them uh, or not. The next sub-element which is B7.4. The immune status for newly hired staff against hepatitis B, measles, mumps, rubella, and varicella are determined by a documented vaccina vaccination, serological evidence of immunity, or documented clinical or laboratory evidence of disease with uh, lifelong immunity. Appropriate vaccines is administered to uh, those who are uh, susceptible. We will go through the activity of document review. We will review also the medical uh, record of the healthcare worker and uh, making the staff interview with the assigned staff uh, inside the employee health clinic. Uh, in the document review, you will review the following uh, document. Uh, you will uh, ask for document for plan and written protocol for screening uh, of any newly hired employee for hepatitis B, hepatitis C, HIV, and tuberculosis. Uh, you will ask also for last screening data that has been done by the clinic. Uh, to see if the protocol has been followed or not. Uh, you will review also the document of uh, the plan and protocol for identifying susceptible staff based on the uh, documented vaccination or serological uh, evidence of immunity or documented uh, clinical or uh, laboratory evidence of the disease. Uh, you will review also the vaccination program uh, for the employee health clinic to uh, to those who are uh, susceptible uh, for uh, infectious disease. Uh, you will review also if there is any vaccination activity uh, done by the employee health clinic. Uh, you will review also the list uh, of target group for different vaccine and the coverage rate for, for uh, this vaccine. Uh, secondly, you will review uh, the medical records of uh, Three or uh, three to four healthcare worker, you will choose him uh, randomly and check for evidence uh, of baseline screening for uh, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, HIV, and tuberculosis. You will check uh, in this uh, in this medical record, check for evidence of immunity regarding hepatitis B, measles, mumps, uh, rubella, and varicella. You will check also evidence 
of administration of appropriate vaccine to those who are uh, susceptible. Uh, the final step in this sub-element, you will uh, interview the assigned staff of the employee health clinic uh, and you will ask them uh, about how do you identify susceptible staff regarding hepatitis B, regarding measles, regarding uh, mums, regarding rubella, uh, and so on. Uh, you will ask them also how can you establish a vaccination program for susceptible healthcare worker in your uh, facility. Uh, how do you uh, correctly prepare list of target group and calculating the uh, coverage rate for different vaccine? Uh, you will ask them also about uh, different vaccination activity that uh, has been done by the clinic and how they uh, properly document it in, in the clinic. Uh, now we will take sub-element number B7.5 uh, that say the influenza vaccine is administered annually to the targeted healthcare worker as per Ministry of Health recommendation. We will go through uh, a different activity for uh, auditing this sub-element through a document review or a medical record and staff interview. Uh, through the document review, you will review uh, the list of target group for annual influenza vaccination from the uh, previous document that you reviewed in the previous sub-element. Uh, you will review also the annual report of the employee health clinic that include the overall coverage rate of influenza vaccination uh, among the healthcare worker. And then randomly you will review three to four employee medical record uh, that you reviewed before. So you will check for evidence of annual influenza vaccination given for them. You will check also for evidence of valid uh, pixel license if applicable. Uh, the last step in this sub-element, you will uh, choose randomly through to four uh, healthcare worker uh, to ask them uh, about uh, being vaccinated with the influenza vaccine. You can ask them in directory what are, what is the last vaccine you get and when. Uh, you can ask from them uh, to show you the pixel license, and you will check if it uh, valid license or not. Now we will check to uh, sub element number B seven point six. That say newly hired staff are screened for tuberculosis upon contracting with verified protein derivative based green skin test and this test is repeated annually for those who are non reactive and BBD based tuberculin skin test conversion rate are monitored and calculated. You will have different activity for assessing this sub element. You will make a document review. You will review also the medical record and you will make staff interview. Uh, by the same way in the document review you will review the following document. Uh, you will review the overall coverage rate for baseline BBD based tuberculin skin testing for hospital staff. You will review also the list of target group, uh, which means non reactive healthcare worker for annual uh, BBD based tuberculin skin test. And you will review the annual report of the employee health clinic that include the coverage rate of annual BBD based tuberculin skin test and the conversion rate of this test. Uh, also, from the sample that you chose before, you chose uh, three to four uh, medical record to check uh, on it, uh, check for evidence of baseline uh, BBD-based tuberculin skin test if applicable. Uh, you, you will also check if the healthcare worker was uh, non-reactive, check for evidence of annual BBD-based uh, tuberculin skin test. Uh, the last step for assessing this sub-element, you will ask the assigned staff of the employee health clinic. Uh, you can ask them how do you correctly prepare lists for target group for baseline and annual BBD based tuberculin skin testing. You can ask them also, uh, do you have to include healthcare worker who have history of receiving uh, BCG vaccine in the baseline BBD testing? Uh, you can ask also, do you have to include healthcare worker uh, that have documented previous BBD based tuberculin skin testing positive reaction. Uh, how do you administer and read the BBD uh, test? 
how do you properly uh, interpret the result of the BPD uh, test? You can also ask about how you calculate the BPD uh, tuberculin skin, skin testing conversion rate. Uh, from all this uh, question, you can uh, assess if the staff was familiar with uh, the recent uh, guideline regarding the employee health clinic uh, program regarding the BPD uh, annual uh, testing. Sub-element number B7.7 .7, that say there is an implemented system for reporting and follow-up and management of sharp or needle stick injury and body blood and body fluid exposures. You will have different activity to assess this sub-element. You will make document review. You will review also the medical record and you will making the staff interview. Uh, the sub-element number B7.8 uh, reporting through electronic system is active and ongoing uh, like reliable report of sharp or needle stick injury and blood body fluid exposure are sent to the general directorate of infection prevention and control through a uh, HESN or HESN plus uh, system other uh, approved uh, reporting system in a timely manner you will have different activity for assessing this sub-element you will make a document review and uh, make a staff interview. Uh, you will review the following uh, document. You will review a field evident forms or other equivalent forms during the last three to six months for healthcare worker who had exposed exposed to uh, a sharp or needle stick injury uh, or exposed to uh, blood or body fluid. You will review also uh, for evidence of regular reliable reporting, uh, even ongoing and active uh, reporting in timely manner. Uh, you will review also the annual report of the employee health uh, program, employee health clinic that include a sharp needle stick injury or blood body fluid exposure rate. Also, you will ask for uh, a medical record uh, for at least two to three healthcare worker who had exposed previously to sharp or needle stick injury or exposed to blood or body fluid you will review it for uh, documented evidence of follow-up and management you will look if this healthcare, healthcare worker uh, receiving post exposure prophylaxis and documented in the medical record for them you will look also if they are vaccinated uh, against hepatitis b virus uh, you will uh, look also for hepatitis B immunoglobulin to susceptible uh, healthcare worker. Uh, you will uh, also uh, check for uh, the follow-up serological testing uh, for this healthcare worker. You will see also uh, the counseling and uh, treating uh, diseased healthcare worker through uh, this medical record. Uh, the last step, uh, the last step in this sub-element, you will make staff interview. You will make uh, interview with uh, uh, hospital staff and interview with assigned staff of the employee health clinic. You will choose randomly uh, three to four hospital staff uh, of different uh, category uh, to have a good representative uh, sample. You can ask uh, them uh, what are you going to do if you have exposed to a sharp or needle stick injury uh, to assess uh, if they are uh, familiar with uh, the post exposure management uh, of healthcare worker if they are uh, educated and trained uh, on this uh, guideline. Also, you can ask them uh, do you have to squeeze the site of injury and apply a powerful uh, antiseptic uh, locally uh, to assess if uh, they are familiar with the step uh, of post exposure uh, management. Also, you can uh, ask them what are you going to do for reporting this incident and for who uh, you will uh, report this incident. For the staff uh, of the employee health clinic, you can ask them uh, how do you evaluate both the exposed employee and the source patient. Uh, it is very important for uh, the auditor uh, to read the recent guideline for the employee health clinic uh, program in order to uh, evaluate the answer of the hospital staff and the assigned staff of the employee health clinic. Uh, another uh, question that you can use for uh, making staff interview with the assigned staff, 
في الهيلث كلينيك هاو كان يو بروبرلي ابلاي بوست اكسبوجر فولو اب اند مانجمنت بلان فور هيباتايتس بي فايروس هيباتايتس سي فايروس اند اتش بي بي هاو كان يو ريبورت مانج اند فولو اب ا نيرس هو هاد اكسبوز تو ا شارب انجري فروم ان نون سورس all of this uh, question you can uh, use it to assess uh, the assigned staff of the employee health clinic to make the uh, auditing for this sub element sub element number b7.9 the employee health clinic team regularly monitors different type of staff exposure and recommend corrective action to prevent uh, recurrence For example, devices with safety mechanism, self-sheathing needle with retractable needles and scalpel, and so on. You will have different activity for uh, making the auditing for this sub-element. You will make document review and uh, staff interview. Uh, you will review the uh, following document, the annual report of the employee health clinic. That include uh, the rate to compare uh, the rate uh, after uh, using uh, Uh, the intervention inside the, the hospital uh, documented uh, evidence for uh, corrective intervention has been done inside the hospital corrective uh, action like change in specific policy to replace uh, a risky procedure for example with less risky procedure to replace uh, a risky device or equipment with a device or equipment that has more advanced safety features And you will uh, compare the exposure rate before uh, and after uh, uh, the corrective action. Uh, you will review also if there is infection control committee meeting minute uh, that discuss and interpret the rate of uh, different exposure or change in exposure rates classified by department occupation or category or device uh, bill. Uh, you will also uh, review if there is uh, a documented evidence of feedback provided to the healthcare worker involved in the corrective action and preventive strategy. Uh, second step, you will make staff interview. You will ask healthcare worker uh, that involved in the corrective intervention or in the prevention uh, strategy. You will ask them about uh, the rate of different exposure. Uh, classified by the department, by the occupation and category or device based. Uh, you will ask them also if there is continuous communication and feedback, for example, uh, about the exposure rate before and after the application of the corrective uh, action. You will ask them if there is change in the policy that replaces uh, the risky procedure with the less risky procedure or uh, the risky device with a less risky device or safety. Uh, Fisher device. Uh, sub element number B7.10 updated medical record or copies are available for all person of supportive service like kitchen, laundry, housekeeping, waste management, uh, and so on. Uh, you will have uh, two, uh, two activity to uh, auditing uh, this sub element. You will make a document review and you will review the medical record. Uh, you will review the following document. Uh, you will review the documented evidence uh, of listing all of the hospital staff with job category, including the person uh, personnel uh, in supporting service. Uh, also, you will review uh, a medical record. You will choose randomly three to four uh, medical record of uh, personal uh, working of supportive services. You will check for uh, evidence of baseline screening. You will check also. Uh, for evidence of immunity or administration of uh, vaccination. You will check also for evidence of post-exposure uh, follow-up and management if uh, they have. You will uh, check also for uh, work restriction uh, if they done for them. Uh, now uh, we will talk about sub-element number B7.11. The screening, immunization, and post exposure management data are kept in staff medical record. You will assess this sub element only from uh, the medical record. Uh, you will choose randomly to uh, three to four uh, employee medical record. Uh, you will choose uh, randomly from different uh, department to have a representative sample size. Uh, you will check for the evidence of baseline screening. You will check for evidence of immunity or 
uh, administration of vaccination for them. You will check also uh, for evidence of post exposure, follow up, and management if they have uh, exposure. You will check also uh, the work restriction if they have done for them uh, or not. Uh, now, uh, with sub element number B7.12, that say there, there are regular training activity for employee health program. You will assess this sub element for, through uh, different uh, activity. Uh, you will go through document review, personal file, and staff interview. Uh, in the document uh, review, you will uh, re review uh, if there is evidence of training activity for employee health program. You will review uh, uh, the annual uh, plan for the employee health clinic regarding the training uh, and education. Uh, you will review if there is list of target group uh, for the education and training program. Uh, you will review also uh, the component and element of the educational uh, activity and training program for the employee health clinic. Uh, for example, for personal protective equipment, respiratory protection, uh, N95 fit testing, sharp needle stick injury. Uh, you will also uh, review the trainee's attendance sheet uh, to see uh, this uh, education training program uh, covering all the hospital department and hospital staff category. Uh, you will review also randomly uh, three to four personal files of the uh, healthcare worker to see the availability of the VEXEL license, uh, to see uh, certificate for completion or attending educational and training activity uh, for the employee health program. You will also ask three to four uh, hospital staff and making staff interview with them. Uh, try to choose, uh, as we say, different category to have a representative sample size of the hospital. Uh, you will ask them uh, to assess the effectiveness of the uh, training and educational activity of the employee uh, health clinic. Uh, you can ask them what are the PPE required for caring uh, a patient of uh, airborne precaution. You can say, you can ask them what are you going to do if you have exposed to sharp or needle stick injury. What are the steps after uh, the exposure? Do you have uh, to squeeze the site of injury and apply a bar for incentive locally. Uh, what are you going to do for reporting this incident? From all uh, this question, you can uh, assess the effectiveness of the training program that has been done by the uh, employee health clinic. Now we will shift to sub element number B7.13. That say exposed healthcare worker are isolated when needed, either home isolation in a staff accommodation or identified room in the hospital for healthcare worker isolation. You will make the assessment for this sub element through observation and through uh, staff interview. Uh, for observation, you need to visit uh, staff accommodation uh, to uh, look for uh, availability of allocated room for home isolation. And this room should be uh, have specific uh, criteria like adequately ventilated with separate air conditioning system. Uh, if there is a separate facilities like uh, a private bathroom. Uh, and if home isolation and staff accommodation is not uh, attainable, uh, you have to check uh, rooms that are identified in the hospital for home isolation of healthcare worker uh, when required. For completing uh, the auditing for this sub element, you will ask uh, uh, three to four hospital staff about the home isolation uh, in the staff uh, accommodation. You can ask them uh, what is meant by home isolation in staff accommodation, uh, how many rooms uh, you have in, in, in your accommodation for home isolation, uh, do you know them when you go uh, to this room? Uh, you can ask them also how do you uh, deal with healthcare worker uh, that uh, under home isolation your accommodation? What are facilities that can be shared safely with healthcare worker under uh, home isolation in your accommodation? Now we will shift to the last sub element number B7.14. That say approved emerge policies uh, for work restriction are strictly applied. 
you will uh, make activity during the auditing process you will review uh, the document you will review also the medical record and you will make staff interview uh, you will make the document review you will uh, review the following document uh, you will check for approved work restriction policy and related procedure uh, for the hospital staff. Uh, you will also uh, check uh, any fulfilled work restriction form uh, during the last three to six months for healthcare worker who were uh, restricted from work and uh, make the assessment for the document review. Uh, you will review also uh, three to four uh, uh, medical record for healthcare worker uh, that was restricted from work during the last three uh, six months. Uh, to see uh, the medical sickness report uh, inside the medical record to see uh, the evaluation of their infection or condition uh, in the employee health clinic or in the ER or the medical department to see uh, their investigation and treatment report to see also uh, how they uh, usually uh, allowed to join back after uh, recovery from the infection. Uh, the last step you will make staff interview with the employee health clinic uh, uh, employee uh, assigned staff of the employee health clinic uh, and uh, all of this uh, assessment uh, maybe you have uh, a background from the uh, previous uh, uh, sub element so you can make the assessment uh, easily you can uh, ask the same question uh, we learned it from the previous sub element uh, you can ask how do you report manage follow up physician that was exposed to a patient confirmed uh, cough or COVID-19 without BPE for more than 10 minutes. You come from this, uh, all this question, you can assess uh, if the assigned staff of the employee health clinic that are uh, familiar with the recent guideline of employee health clinic program and work restriction policy. Uh, at the end, uh, thank you so much for listening uh, to my uh, presentation and I hope you take a benefit uh, from this uh, presentation uh, and good luck inshallah for your uh, auditing round. Uh, the last step you will make staff interview with the employee health clinic uh, uh, employee uh, assigned staff of the employee health clinic uh, and uh, all of this uh, assessment uh, maybe you have a uh, background from the uh, previous uh, uh, sub element so you can make the assessment uh, easily you can uh, ask the same question uh, we learned from the previous sub element uh, you can ask how do you report manage follow up physician that was exposed to a patient confirmed uh, cough or covid-19 without bpe for more than 10 minutes you come from this uh, all this question you can assess uh, if the assigned staff of the employee health clinic that are uh, familiar with uh, recent guideline of employee health clinic program and work restriction policy. Uh, at the end, uh, thank you so much for listening uh, to my uh, presentation and I hope you take a benefit uh, from this uh, presentation uh, and good luck inshallah for your uh, auditing round.